I just recently did a video on using FFmpeg to convert to WebM format, and FFmpeg can convert to and from almost every format that, uh, that is commonly used. And uh, I've been asked uh, by a few viewers how to bulk convert FLV files you download from YouTube to other formats, uh, and mainly uh, WebM and MP3 were the two I was asked to do. So that's what we're going to go over today, and it's pretty simple. We're just going to use a uh, for loop and um, a for loop. Basically, everything in this video I've gone over before, and I think that I've actually may have done a tutorial exactly on this topic. But since it's being asked again, I'm just going to go over it again. Uh, let me list out the files I have. I have two files here. I've got uh, two FLV video files uh, from YouTube, uh, Nine Inch Nails only, and Nine Inch Nails the hand that feeds. Let's quickly M player and play out all those files. We're not going to watch the whole thing, but there's the video for only. And here's the video for the hand that feeds. So let's convert them to WebM format first. So we already know that if we go FFmpeg dash I and we say the name of an input file and then the name of an output file, we'll just say nin.mp3 here, it will convert to mp3 or webm uh, with some default settings. What we need to do is loop through all the files in this folder, uh, mainly FLV files is what I was asked for. So let's do, use a for loop. We're going to say for i, and i is a variable. Really, you can make anything you want, but I'm just going to use i. It's commonly used in for loops. So i for in asterisk.flv. So this will loop through every FLV file and then it will do whatever is between this do and this done. So anything we put between this do and this done will loop for each file, will happen for each file. And what we're going to do is ffmpeg dash i for input file and then inside quotations we're going to say dollar sign i. And that dollar sign i here is the variable that we create here, which is the file name. So that's our input file. Now we need to create an output file. Uh, and we have to give each one its own uh, file name so it doesn't overwrite the file like it does the first one and overwrites it when it starts the second one. We need to give it an individual name and we'll just give it the same name as the original file dot, in this case, webm, and we'll close our parentheses or quotations there. So this will work as is, but, um, well, I'll start it and then just cancel it and I'll show you what it does. So it's starting to convert the first video. I'll hit Q to stop that. Oh, and it's now starting to convert the second one. I'll hit Q to stop that. And if I list out, you'll see our original FLV files here and here. And now you'll see our WebM files here and here. And they work and they play, but the file name has .flv still in it in the middle there. And just to make things clean, we're going to remove that. So if you don't care about that, you're all set with this command right here that we just went over. But if you want to clean it up a little bit and get rid of that FLV in your converted files, we're going to go over that right now. First, let's remove those files we just created. So rm for remove, and we'll say asterisk dot webm. Now if I list out again, you'll see our original files are there. Let's just scroll up again. We got our for loop here. I'm going to clear the screen real quick just to clean things up. So we have our for loop using FFmpeg, our input file, our output file. But since we're using the input file's name, it's going to have that WebM in there or that FLV in there. All we have to do is now put this um, variable inside parentheses. And I'm going to explain this more when we get to the end of it. But we're going to say echo and inside quotations dollar sign i. Then pipe it into cut dash d for delimiter and we're going to say our delimiter is going to be a period and we're going to say f1 and that should be it. Let me explain this part a little bit more. Because we're using the dollar sign and these parentheses, anything inside these parentheses, any commands you run, it'll replace this whole section right here with the output of that command. Well, what is the output of that command? Well, we're echoing the file name, which is our original file name, but then we're piping it into cut and we're taking it, we're going to divide it up by wherever there are periods, 
and we're going to grab whatever's before the first period. That's what this F1 stands for. So instead of, let's say, our file is called song.flv, this will echo song.flv, but the cut will take it at the .flv and remove everything from that first dot on. So it will just say song. But then we're adding our WebM here at the end. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit enter. We'll let it go for a little bit. We'll let it go to 200 frames. Do, 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 do. Okay. Q to stop that. It's going to start converting the second file. I'll stop this one at 60 frames, which will, should be about two seconds. There we go. Now, if we list out, you'll see that we have our converted files here. We have our original. And then we have our converted, and it doesn't have that FLV. It just says .webm. And same with our second file. We have our .flv and our .webm. And we can use mplayer to play all our webm files. So there we go. That's only. I'll hit, uh, well, I don't have to hit anything, and then there's the other videos. So that's them bulk converting to webm. Now, if you want to bulk convert to um, uh, mp3 format use the same exact command just convert just change this webm to mp3 now um, I believe that you may have to have lame installed for ffmpeg to convert to mp3 don't quote me on that but if you try this and it doesn't work search your repositories and install uh, lame mp3 or lame um, but it may work out of the box just depending on your system but if you like I said if it doesn't work search for lame in your repositories and go ahead and install that. If we hit enter here, it starts converting. And basically it's just taking the audio from that uh, FLV file and putting it into an MP3 file. And of course, if I'm just gonna stop this early, I'm gonna hit Q, it'll start converting the next one. And let's go for a few seconds, I'll hit Q. Now we can M player asterisk.mp3. Well, let's list out our files first. There are our files. We've got our original files here and here. We've got our webm files here and here, and our mp3 files here and here. So mplayer asterisk.mp3 should play all our mp3 files. And I don't know if they're picking that up in the microphone, but it's playing the beginning of only. And we'll hit up page and it's starting to play the hand that feeds. I'll hit Q to quit out of that, and that is it. Check out the links in the description. I'll have this code posted there as well as well with this video in a place where you can comment on stuff. And I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K, and I hope that you have a great day.